Hi friends, brothers, and sisters. My name is Tin, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel is from Mark 3, verses 31 to 35. A crowd was calling out to Jesus, saying, Your mother and brothers and sisters are asking for you. To which Jesus replies, Who are my mother, brothers, and sisters? Those who do the will of God are my mother and brothers and sisters. Have you ever really pondered what it means to be related to Jesus? Related like a family member? You see, some of us might see Jesus as just a friend, a motivational person, a great teacher, someone to be inspired by. But he's more than that. In today's gospel, Jesus reveals that we are brothers and sisters with him. We are all children of God. Not just because he created us in the very beginning, because you see, the moment that the human race decided or chose to sin, we rejected God as our father. We became separated from him. And we actually deserved to die. God could have wiped out the entire human race because we deserved it, because we chose sin over God. But God doesn't do that. As usual, his love prevails. Now, we can be called children of God again because Jesus Christ makes it possible for us. We become children of God through faith in Jesus, His one true Son. That's why in other parts of scriptures, we're also called adopted sons and daughters of God. In John 1, it says, But to all who did receive Him, who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. If we believe that Jesus is truly the Son of God, then we enter into God's family through Jesus who bridges us to the Father and unites us with Him again. Now, what happens if we are sons and daughters of God? In Romans 8, it says, If we are children, then we are also heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. We are heirs to God's kingdom, to heaven, to all the goodness, the riches, and the glory that God can possibly give. It's unimaginable, but you can try to think. Think of the deepest desires of your heart, the joy, the love, and the peace that you want for yourself. You are an heir to that, and God desires to give it to you. How wonderful is that? So, how are we supposed to respond to all of this? First is through repentance and faith. We have to recognize that we are sinful by nature and that we always fall short before God. We choose to sin, choose to turn away from God, and choose to do the wrong things sometimes. But it doesn't stop there. We need to ask for God's forgiveness and strive to change our sinful ways. The sacrament of confession is a good way to exercise that. And also, we need to ask for the grace to have faith and believe that Jesus Christ can truly change us that He can transform us from being sinful to being more like Him. Next is to follow Jesus. If we believe that Jesus is truly the bridge that connects us to the Father, then we ought to walk along this bridge and live the way He lived. And you see, the way Jesus lived is all over Scripture. We can increase our prayer time and our meditation of Scripture so that we can learn more about Jesus, the way He talked, the way He behaved and related with other people, the way he loved and served other people. We can imitate that as we grow in our relationship with him. And last is to have hope. Friends, so much good awaits all of us. God loves you so much that he sent his only son to die for your sins and redeem your life from the darkness. God loves you so much that he calls you into his family and he wants to give so much blessing and goodness to you. So you can look forward to that. You can look forward to God's good plans for you, and you can look forward to, most importantly, heaven, ultimate good, ultimate life, and the true joy and peace that your heart desires. Friends, our gospel for today is a reminder that God invites us into a relationship with Him as His family, and He loves you so much that He sent His only Son to save you from your sins, and He promises you eternal life with Him. So, today, may we be filled with the grace to simply accept that invitation, to accept God's love for you, and most of all, to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. If you have been blessed and inspired by this reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Tin. 
Thank you and have a great day.